Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here. I'm so excited because it's so pretty. Oh, this is inspired by sunflower. I don't know if y'all can tell. This is obviously like the petals and then this is the color of like the seeds or the inner part. The sparkles kind of like supposed to be like the seeds. I don't know. And then I have the green and the waterline, which is like the stem. I didn't think it was going to turn out like I wanted it to, but this is prettier than I thought it was going to be. I love this makeup look so much and I hope y'all do too. If y'all recreate it or do any sunflower makeup looks, make sure to tag me on Instagram. Oh, I just feel so glam. I really hope you y'all enjoy this video let's just get started i have already prepped my lids with my santi super smooth concealer and set it with a cream shade today i'm going to be using the morphe jaclyn hill palette again i know i don't really know what i'm going to start with for the yellow i'm going to use cream sickle or the brown either central park or mocha and if i did the gold then i would do this shade and then like put glitter over it for the transition shade i never know which one to go in with i'm going to take it on this big fluffy brush aoa studio e127 i'm just gonna mix them like i normally do because i never know what to do i don't know what i want like up here because obviously i can't just have yellow brown nothing up here i mean i could but like i don't want to i'm gonna go with pukey right there really concentrated in the crease of course someone's gonna mow i hope y'all don't mind that because i don't care <laughs> i'm gonna go in with Roxanne. I'm going to take this on smaller brush with E129. I'm going to keep it focused in the crease. I don't want it to be everywhere. I also went over it with a very warm shade, Hunts. I'm going to be focusing mostly in Hunts right now. But now I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and just kind of blend with no extra product on it and i'm not going in the crease i'm going above it so i started riverdale season two i know i'm so behind it's very very vibrant so now the two shows that i'm watching right now are both kind of scary because i'm watching the 100 as well not that it's scary it's just like a lot of killing <laughs> now i want to bring the dark brown into my outer corner mocha on the e130 this is clean it's just stained i just topped off my brush so i don't have too much and I don't think I want to bring this up into the crease. I thought that would look kind of harsh, but since I'm using this kind of brush where it is kind of blending out while I'm doing it, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. There's not just a random line. I'm going to go to Central Park on top of it, and I'll probably take a more packer brush in a second, but I'm just trying to make sure this stays blended because I don't want any harsh lines i am kind of bringing that up into the crease not past this outer corner crease if that makes sense now i'm going to take that same brush with the hunt shade on it i'm not adding any more product but i'm just going to blend that to try and keep it kind of warm i feel like it's gonna roll close to the brow bone but it's fine i'm gonna take central park and just take out my finger build it and then blend now i'm gonna take this super teeny e132 and clean my brows up with some powder i'm going to clean this up first and then i'm gonna go cut with concealer i'm gonna use a different concealer than i'm gonna use on my face i'm gonna be extra and i think i'm gonna cut it with the tarte shape tape i literally haven't used this in so Long. I think I'm gonna cut it with the F16. This is flimsy, so I might regret it. Now I'm gonna look up. Ooh, that was a nice line. I've never used this concealer to cut the crease, but I know everyone else does. I'm bringing the inner corner in more. It makes it look less like triangular. I'm gonna take it out a little more than I thought. I just want more yellow on the lid than brown. Now I'm going to pack on the yellow shade. I'll do it first with my finger and then I'll go on with the brush. This definitely isn't as bright as I wanted. It's just not reminding me of a sunflower. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one off camera and I'll see if I want to do like brighter yellow on top. So if you can tell a difference, I added this pastel kind of yellow from this NYX Avant Pop Palette and thrill my heart. But if you can't, then just leave it the way it was. Whenever I've cut creases, I take the Elf Detail Crease Brush and just take it and blend right over that crease. This is an AOE Studio like nail art brush. I just put it in some water and I'm trying to like get these to stick together. And I'm gonna coat it with Queen. So I'm gonna start with it up here.
What? That actually looks good. Might as well go over it with glitter. So I actually think I'm going to do my face off camera just because it's going to be the same routine I did in my last video. Get Wet n Wild Dewy Primer, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, AO Studio Perfect Setting Powder, Catrice Prime and Fine Contouring Palette, just the contour shade. I'm also going to do some Alexis Lashes. Look at this. I don't even have highlighter on yet. That's just the primer. Through powder, honey bunches. I'm going to do blush and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Rose champagne. I haven't used this in so long. Now I'm going to be even more glowing. I'm not even going to need highlighter, but who am I kidding? I'm obviously going to use highlighter. For highlighter, I'm going to use, once again, Sofex palette. I'm going to mix the white and this shade just because I really want like a yellow gold. So now for the lower lash glowing. First going in with Pukey. Now I'm going to go in with Mocha. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Central Park on the very outer part. Then I'm going to go in with Creamsicle and just take it, blend it into each other. Now I'm going to do black tight line liner, lower lash line mascara, and my brows, and then be right back. Before I do mascara, I want to put the LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense Stay Auto Liner on my waterline. I tried to look a little more glam, as you can see. I can't tell if this makes me look cute or if it makes me look like I'm wearing like a men's tank. It's fine. I feel like I look super dark and grungy right now, even though my eye makeup is pretty kind of colorful, you know? I was thinking of doing Dreamy again, because I just feel like that complements yellow really well. I really love this look so much, and I really hope y'all enjoyed it as well. Look at that. It's just so pretty. That gold is, like, the only shimmer on this whole eye look, which I love, because it just, like, pops. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below, and please give this video a thumbs up it helps me out so much sorry if you hear my stomach because i'm starving because i haven't eaten all morning thank you so much for watching bye